Hello Wet Shavers! Welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. We've had two back-to-back -back oud shaves here on the Soap Thing Project, so we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to do Declaration Grooming Sun at Lumiere. And this is a tallow-based soap. Let's talk about the ingredients that are in it. What do we have here? We have glycerin, vegetable glycerin, that is, bison tallow, mango butter, avocado oil, shea butter, lanolin, yogurt, buttermilk, egg whites, that's interesting, coconut milk, and goat's milk are some of the ones that uh, jump out to me as high quality ingredients. And this is a petrichor scent, sort of. Well, talk more about it later in the video. There's a little bit more to it than that. But Sun et Lumiere by Declaration Grooming. Got the matching aftershave splash. The soap, by the way, I paid $22 for four ounces. So soap and matching aftershave from Declaration Grooming. We're going to use the leaf twig razor. And this is the regular one. This is not the thorn razor. And I think we'll go ahead and split a feather blade into it. That's probably asking for trouble, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to use a wolf whiskers brush today. And this one is a 28 millimeter Julie shape. And this one is um, Shadows of Stonehenge with a pearl white band around the top of it. And this is a 28 millimeter Maggard SHD fan knot. So let's do a shave. And here we go. Out of the jar and under the face, we got Prorezzo White today for the pre-shave. And two days growth on the face today. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Having great shaves. Staying healthy and happy and busy. So let's take the Declaration Sun at Lumiere, which is lathered in my Langley City Shave Bowl, and let's put it on the face. Looking at it a second ago, it looked like it might have been a little underhydrated. But now that it's going on the face, I think it'll be probably be fine. All right, got the leaf twig with a split feather blade into it. This razor uses one half of a DE blade. You just split it in half while it's in the wrapper and put it in the razor. So let's get started. Here we go. Make sure that's tightened down. Let's see what happens. So let's talk about the scent of Declaration Sun at Lumiere. Now, on the Soap Thing Project, I try as hard as I can, as often as I can, to tell you what the artisan wants you to smell and also what I actually smell. So, in this case, according to Declaration Grooming, this is supposed to smell like a clean city on a drizzly day in the fall. And with that intention of my, with that intention in mind, excuse me, I think uh, this soap is a very good representation of itself. Because when I smell this, Scent strength on this is a two out of three, by the way. So not difficult to smell, but it's not going to hit you directly in the face either. But when I smell this, what I get out of it is leaves and wet pavement. That's it, that's about the size of it. 
And if anything, it it might even smell a bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oversimplified, maybe? It's definitely not chiseled face like. Like this is not filthy smelling. <laughs> and that's nothing against chiseled face, but I have a couple of their soaps and they're, they have such an amplified representation of what they're trying to emulate that most of them smell, in my opinion, earthy and dirty and filthy. Uh, I'll use them, but I gotta be in the mood for them. This one is not like that though. This one is pretty cleaned up and refined. It does smell petrichor like like uh, this is a familiar smell to when I walk outside of my house after it just rained and you have that wet dirt and wet pavement sort of smell going on. But it's not presented in an off-putting way, not at all. Skipped off the edge of my ear. So far, so good. Hopefully we can keep it that way. This feather blade is not biting me at all. Personally, I think feather blades are a little overhyped as being more dangerous and more sharp than they really are. I've cut myself with blades that are a lot less sharper than this. A lot, I cut myself a lot worse than this. So, it does look like we have one little nick right there. If I can just get through my chin. I'll be able to call it a shave with minimal irritation. Slickness, both primary and residual on this, is pretty excellent. I'd say it is certainly in the top 10 slickest soaps I've ever used. I don't know if that's saying much, because all soaps are slick. I have yet to... Uh, find a soap that I've used that didn't slick in my shave quite significantly. So take that for whatever it's worth, but It's got a fairly robust amount of residual slickness. I can blade buff and reattack other areas where the soap has been before and uh, Glides across my face perfectly fine Without a lot of trouble And I think that's gonna be it. That feels like a good shave. So let's move on to the aftershave. All right, off camera, I did use the Omega Ellen Block on the face. And the only place I got feedback was right here where that small nick is. So I've definitely had worse Ellen Block report cards on the Soap Thing project. So we got the matching aftershave, Sun at Lumiere from Declaration Grooming. I'm pretty sure this is an alcohol-based aftershave. Yes, it is. Alcohol and witch hazel. Pretty minimal feedback from the alcohol content of the aftershave. And this is a rare example of an aftershave that I would say matches the soap extremely well. So, very comfortable uh, qualities out of the... Uh, Declaration grooming aftershave. I'm very impressed. So 
Now, uh, one more thing before we get out of here. Uh, my tripod that's used to record the bird's eye view of the lathering process fell off my counter and broke, so that's why you haven't seen them in a few videos. Put it in the comments below if you want, if uh, you even consider the lathering videos all that useful, or if you could just assume would do without them to save time. Feedback is always appreciated. So let's talk about the soap. Sonnet Lumiere. If I exhaust this to an empty tub, would I buy it again? Um, I don't know. It's definitely something I have to be in the mood for. This is not an all the time scent like some other ones. It's definitely not real useful to me in the summer. I would definitely categorize this as a fall scent. Fall, winter, spring, maybe, probably, possibly. I'd say probably yes, I would buy this again, because this is a rare example of a petrichor that I can get behind. You know, it's not, it's not dirty smelling like some other ones. It's pretty, pretty well kept, to put it, put it that way. Um, but that's it. It was a great shave. Great shave, great aftershave. What, what else can you say about it? So that'll be the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.